Welcome back. Oh, I'm excited. Welcome back, everyone. Something new for fans of true crime shows like my mama. Uh, a new series premieres today following four cases. But here's the deal. This is why it's different. Each episode is told from the perspective of the victim. Look. My mom was terrified. I said, maybe she's been taken. Mom instincts should be trusted. I need a Kleenex. Sorry. I hate it when people lie. All we need is the truth. But I love it when they get caught. They left me there to die. What a sick, twisted person. Drives me crazy thinking about how she felt. A family shouldn't have to go through that. What police were about to find out were things no one expected. This is me. This is me. This is me hereafter. Me Hereafter follows four different cases taking viewers inside murder investigations like never before. One of the cases in the series is the tragic death, uh, and this one hits close to home for us here in the Twin Cities, a real estate agent, uh, Monique Bao. Well, back in 2019, she was lured to a fake house showing, kidnapped, and then killed. Uh, joining me this morning is the woman behind me hereafter, filmmaker Maria Oz, and the mother of Monique, uh, who is now my dear friend, uh, who is featured on the show. Give it up for Wanda Williams. Thank you. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Wanda Love, I, 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 if we can get some Kleenex, please. Yes, please. I want to <laughs> um, ask you first. Yes. Um, first of all, thinking of you. Thank you. Um, I love her and respect her. I, I gotta. I want to ask. With that, was it a hard decision? Because it is. I, I would trust. If I would trust anybody, it would be her to tell the story of your beloved daughter. But was it a hard decision to put this out there again? Because you lived it on the news and you lived it in real life. What was that process like for you? You know, it was a. Actually, became an easy process after I had a conversation with Maria. Um, I was contacted by um, other networks to do the story and one thing I've learned through the process is that they can tell your story whether you will have uh, agreed to it or not and um, so they can however Maria I feel I made the right choice going with her company um, because I think they're what you know told it the best what did you want what did you want all of us to get out of it about about Monique, what did you want us to get out of it? That she was m not just a headline, and um, that she mm. was a mother, a daughter, a granddaughter, niece, cousin, friend. She was so loved. Thank you. She was so loved, and she loved being a mother, and she had the right to live her life, and she had a right to raise her children, and what happened to her was senseless and should have never happened to anyone, um, but yeah, I just felt like the, I wanted the story to know that she was a real person and not just a headline. A headline, uh, yeah. I always think about that, yeah. having been an anchor. A graphic, a gra a, 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 there's a story behind a graphic that you mm -hmm. see of just the name Monique. I, yeah, Absolutely. Maria, what was it, um, you've been on the show before, mm -hmm. what was it um, about doing this series? What, what Was it appealing to you that you were gonna be telling uh, the stories through the point of view of the victims? Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, throughout the history of the different true crime shows we've done, one of the things we've always tried to do is bring attention to the victim stories over that of the perpetrators, you know. Those are the people that we really want to remember. Those are the people who touch our lives, right? So when we were able to do this with ABC News Studios and bring this to Hulu, I think it's the ultimate opportunity to kind of give a voice to these people who were lost, and we worked very hard on that to try to um, work with families to try to strike you know the right chord in terms of that because you know it's got that very lovely if you've read the lovely bones it's got that yeah. very lovely bones um, style to it is it hard for you I asked on a personal level with Wanda but for you is it hard to go home at, uh, you know what I'm gonna ask yeah. is it hard to go home at night and not be overcome by you're not just you're telling Monique and Wanda's story, but you have, you're overcome with, you're so deep into all of these stories. Is it hard to release that at night? 
It can be, you know, I think um, more so actually with this show than even others we've done mm. in the past. And I think that's because, and you know, Wanda and I think became quite close actually throughout this process because we really are trying to get to know these people and that's where it, it hits home you know and um, having kids myself and you know you think through all of these different things but you do have to you know kind of try to find a way to sort of shut it off but you never can all the way you know this is close to home for all of us again you know we we, we are based here in Minneapolis the Jason show is uh, these these stories correct me if I'm wrong are all rather locally based here they are they're all in the Midwest so we have a case from um, Monique's case in Minneapolis we have a st. Paul case Kara Steger we have um, years back 2002 the Hudson funeral home murders I don't know if anyone in your mm -hmm. audience may remember that case um, and then we have the case of Savannah Greywind which is in Fargo and that one really brings some attention to the missing and murdered indigenous women's uh, women uh, horrible situation so I think that they all have a different um, appeal I think and a different different message for viewers. Wanda I want to I want to return to you because again the the show has a has a, a role in doing this but I, I wanted to ask you I, you know, if I ask my mom, like, what, what's a favorite thing about me? I mean, she could list off goofy things. Mm. What was your favorite? Because I, I, I always want to bring it back to Monique. I want to make sure. What was your favorite thing about your daughter? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, hanging out with her. And she was funny. She she was a foodie. Was she oh a foodie? Oh my goodness, she was a huge foodie. Um, beef tartare. I had never heard of it, um, but she introduced it to me. Um, just just she was just a loving person. She was so fun. Yeah. She was so fun. She would light up a room. Would you? Uh, I want to focus too on some oh, yes. positive. Yes. Um, well, tell everyone about your book. <laughs> um, Ruby and Onyx and the Magical Pillow Adventure. Um, Monique's girls and I wrote this book. Um, we were had spent many nights reading other people's books, and we decided to write our own after we were telling some stories to each other. So, Ruby and Onyx and the Magical Pillow Adventure is about a pillow that um, Monique uh, is, you know. Um, that Monique had that we would read the stories and all of a sudden the girls would fall asleep on it together and then they would go on this adventure. So it was fun. The girls actually really put, had a hand in it. So it was, it, it turned out great. How are they doing? They're doing wonderful. Monique would be so proud of them. Oh. They had their first oh. piano lesson yesterday. Wait, wait, wait. They, had, they had their first piano lesson? <laughs> their first piano lesson yesterday and then they had a oh. drum set that was there and they both were like, can we do the drums? And it, it their teacher, Ben, was like, sure, yeah. So we, they got a chance to beat on the drums a little bit. So, yeah, I think they're going to love it. Oh, yeah, I love it. It's so great. I love it. Yeah. One, more, one more question. Is there, sure. um, are they released, is Hulu dropping them all at once? Yes, so you can like, you know, when your show is over, obviously. Thank you. But Thank then, you, Maria. Yes, yeah. then you can uh, go on Hulu and you can stream them all. They're all there, all four. Are we going to, do you think we're going to get another season of this? Of well, I mean, that's my hope. Hulu, you know? give her another season. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Give it up for Maria and Wanda, everybody. Thank you. Again, go watch this. Me Hereafter is streaming now. It premieres right now. Go watch it. Well, like Maria said, please watch our show and then go stream it. <laughs>